Welcome to Tune Leak TV. I am recording a new track and I'm putting the bass down. And I've hit the age old question of what's going to give me the best bass sound? Is it bass going direct? Putting the uh, effects on afterwards? Is it miking up an amp? Is it running it through an effects unit? What's what's going to sound the best? Um, so I'm actually going to try out four options and uh, decide on one of them. I think the most important part of the decision process is to make a decision and stick to it for consistency and then, you know, whatever you've got, fix an EQ afterwards if you have to. That's my guess. So the, the, uh, the first thing I'm going to try is uh, a little bass amp mic'd up. Um, you can see that there. It's just a, uh, what is it? It's a Sennheiser E609 basic uh, guitar amp mic. The, uh, the next thing I'm going to try is... Oh, where is it? This little thing here, the, the Joyo American sound. It's a, you know, it's a basic Fender American, whatever, blackface kind of emulator uh, or analog, but um, it probably gives me a bright kind of bass sound I'm after, so let's give this one a go. Okay, that was the American sound. Uh, next up, I'm going to try the Amparo. Uh, got a pretty basic clean sound. Um, Alembic preamp. SVT 8x10 speakers. U87 condenser mic. Pretty clean. Finally, we're going to go direct. Um, so this is a, oof, what is it? It's a Focusrite interface. Uh, I will, uh, so this bass has got active pickups, so it's a low impedance output, but I'll still switch it to, you know, high impedance instrument input, just for fun. Um, so let's go direct, and we'll put some effects on that afterwards. There we go, four takes, four different recording methods. I'm gonna throw a bit of compression on them, on the track, and sort through the results and see which one we like best. Well, which one I like best. Okay, the results are in. Uh, I've got the four tracks lined up here. I'm gonna solo them with the drums. So the, um, it's just very basic you know, compression, a little bit of EQ on these tracks. I haven't done a whole lot to make any of them in particular sound, you know, perfect. Um, just enough to kind of, you know, figure out which one I like the best. Now, I didn't show you before the, uh, oh, the actual bass I was using, which is a, it's a court, uh, but you can kind of see what they're going for there. So that's the, I suppose, the, uh, the Fender bass kind of five string copy. Um, and everything was coming out of that neck pickup. So wasn't using both pickups, just 
you know, single coil uh, neck pickup sound. So let's uh, let's go through some of these tracks. So first up is the uh, the bass recorded through the amp with the microphone. So. So, um, I know what my favourite is, and that's the last one. I'll tell you why. It is uh, not so much the sound, though no, the sound is fine. It's the, it's the convenience. So that was the bass recorded direct. You know, nothing between the guitar and the and the interface. And the the advantage is that you can tailor the sound in the mix. You know, after the fact to just get it to sound right. The, the disadvantage is that you have way too many options to deal with, but if you can limit yourself to trying to keep it somewhat simple, you get there in the end. So, and that's really good news for me because uh, it's, it's also the simplest way to actually to get the recording done. Um, so that's what I'll be doing for the rest of this track. And... Uh, we will see you again soon on TuneLeague TV.